Hey guys, so what is dropshipping? Hopefully most of you guys are already familiar with dropshipping and that is why you're in this course. But if for some reason you don't know what dropshipping is, let me explain. Dropshipping is a retail fulfillment method where the store or the merchant, uh, so you or me, doesn't keep any physical products it sells in stock. So it, the store doesn't carry any physical inventory. Instead, when the store sells a product, let's say on its online store, only then will the store or the merchant purchase the product from a third party vendor or manufacturer and have the product shipped directly to the customer. So the third party vendor or manufacturer are the ones fulfilling the product technically. As a result, the store never sees or handles the products or any physical inventory. Let me give you a better example that might make a little bit more sense. So in this case, Let's say you have a Shopify store and you sell t-shirts on your Shopify store and a random customer that maybe saw your ad on Facebook, you know, goes to your website and they look at your shirts and they find a shirt that they like and they purchase that shirt for $30. After you receive the $30, you will then use that $30 to go over to your third party vendor or manufacturer, the company that's actually making the shirts and you will buy that shirt for only $8 in this particular case. You will tell the vendor manufacturer to instead shipping the product to you, you ship the you tell them to ship the product directly to the customer. So the customer gets the t-shirt for 30 bucks, you get a profit of $22, right? Because you only needed to spend $8 to purchase and ship the shirt to the customer. So your profit is $22. So you are essentially making money without any physical inventory. You don't, you're not even responsible for, for fulfilling the products. All you have to do is purchase and tell the vendor to send it to the customer. And that is drop shipping, right? So what are the benefits of drop shipping? Why do people do it? Well, it, I think it's kind of obvious, right? The benefit of drop shipping is that there's no financial risk because you do not need to purchase inventory in bulk before you sell it. So in traditional e-commerce, generally you'll find a product, let's say t-shirts, you'll buy you know hundreds to thousands of those t-shirts, you'll keep it in some kind of fulfillment center or a warehouse or maybe in your garage. And then as people buy that shirt, you will then ship it to them. But in drop shipping, you know, you don't have to have that risk because if you buy all those products, right, and your t-shirt doesn't sell, then now you have all this inventory, you invested all this money and you're not making any money. So that's, it's very risky to do traditional e-commerce. But with drop shipping, you don't have to worry about that because without with drop, with drop shipping, you essentially buy inventory after the product has already been sold and the money is already in your pocket. So the risk is much, 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 much lower, if not at all. So what are the downsides of dropshipping? So there, of course there's pros and cons to both traditional e-commerce and to dropshipping as well. And the downsides of dropshipping is that you have to rely on someone else's product. So that means you're not manufacturing the product yourself. Sometimes you, you're, not, you're not gonna be able to tell if it is the most quality product or things like that. But of course you can always have a product sent to you before you start marketing that product just to make sure it's in good quality. But at the end of the day, you're not the one that's gonna be creating that product. So you have to rely on the quality of someone else's product. Profit margins are smaller, right? Because as you, as you can see earlier, right? Although you're selling the t-shirt for 30, you have to spend part of that $30, $8 of the $30 to make a $22 profit. So in some cases, profit margins can be smaller than if you had just purchased a bunch of products in bulk up front. Um, it can be a crowded market. I think more and more people every day are catching on to drop shipping. Um, so it's a little bit more of a crowded marketplace, um, but that really, you know, the way you can overcome that is by spending more time finding the perfect product you want to sell, being more strategic with what you want to sell. Don't just sell the first thing you think of, okay? Really think about it. And we'll, we're gonna go into strategies on how to find the perfect product. Uh, shipping times can be slower depending on where you are, where your third party vendor or manufacturer are. In the case of this course, we're gonna be doing a lot of drop shipping from China because products over there are very, very cheap and you can purchase one product and ship it pretty much anywhere in the world. So because it's coming from China, which is, you know, if you're not from China, then obviously it can take some time for that product to travel to your country, wherever your country may be. I live in the US, so it does take, you know, several, you know, two to three weeks for some products to get here. So it can be a little bit of challenging. 
Uh, it could be a little bit challenging, but I'm gonna show you ways to kind of overcome those challenges. And then lastly, refunds can be uh, challenging to handle. Um, in particular cases, depending on what you sell, right? Because you don't necessarily have a fulfillment center. So if someone purchases a product and they wanna get a refund, how do you handle that? We're gonna address that a little bit later. There's easy ways to handle that and um, we'll go over that. So that's what dropshipping is, guys. There's a lot of main benefits of dropshipping and it's really um, for those people who don't have a lot of capital. When I first started my first dropshipping business, I was in debt probably two to 300,000. So I didn't have a lot of capital to invest in a business. So for me, dropshipping was the perfect way to go because you don't really need that much money to start a dropshipping business. Where if you did traditional e-commerce, you would you would definitely need a lot of money to invest in inventory. So that is the main, main benefit of dropshipping. And I would, if I was a guessing man, I would say that most of you are relatively young, maybe you're starting your career and you may not have that much money in the bank. Uh, so luckily for you, dropshipping is a great solution for that type of scenario. So with that, I'll see you guys on the next video.